Max Forecast with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Good morning and a happy Thursday. We're in for a nice start here, but it is a frigid, frigid start across the region. If you're waking up to see the beautiful sunrise that we do have on our hands because skies are pretty clear to start our morning. Uh, it is a awful cold morning as well. So 19 below up on the hill. We've got clear skies in place northwest wind at about six miles an hour. So if you're headed out to see that sunrise across Lake Superior, please dress in layers because wind chills are nearing 25 to 30 below for just the twin ports. Air temperatures up in northern Minnesota are already pushing the near 40 degree mark 36 still in Big Fork 31 below in Hibbing 29 below in Silver Bay and 24 up in Grand Marais. We're looking at about 15 below over in the South Shore and then of course closer to 30 below in Northwest Wisconsin. Brutal temperatures for most of us across the board. It's clear skies, calm conditions. We've got a wind chill advisory and that warning that are still in effect through Sunday afternoon. Those few counties that are in that warning because they're going to see wind chills nearing 50 for us in the wind chill advisory. We're going to see wind chills nearing that 30 five marks still both spots still just as cold limit your time outdoors again this weekend is another shot of very cold air just like we saw, saw to kind of start this stretch back on sunday clear skies are in place a few clouds across the south shore this morning but other than that uh, it's pretty quiet we've got a surface trough that's going to be moving into the region this afternoon and that's going to bring with it cloud cover also bring a chance for some flakes across the region. Now, we have been very dry over the last week or so because this Arctic air mass that kind of moved into the region has brought such cold temperatures and such dry air. We really can't support much precipitation in terms of snow. Now, that surface trough as it moves through will try to support some in northwest Wisconsin. And I think we'll see a little bit fall throughout the region. Even in the Twin Ports, we could see a few flurries after midnight tonight. But accumulation wise, it's going to be very light. It's going to be a quick dusting for much of northern Wisconsin and then on the areas in the Twin Ports I really don't see much at all except for those few flakes you'll see flying because we are going to be near 10 below as it is snowing. Friday morning that snow and clouds move out sunshine returns for the day but temperatures do not rebound very nicely at all. We're staying well below zero through Saturday morning. We'll start to see again more cloud cover dispersed Sunday, uh, Saturday night into your Sunday morning and sunshine will be with us for much of the weekend. We'll see a good mix of sunshine and clouds. But again, anytime you see those clear skies in the morning hours, that's when we're going to see those chances for very, very cold temperatures into the forecast. Now today we're going to be below zero again. Now for many of northern Minnesota, they have been below zero since Friday evening. So they're continuing that streak for us here. We're going on day two as we're going to see a high temperature of three below in the Twin Ports, about one to two above for northwest Wisconsin today and the UP. But tonight we drop all back below zero, about 15 to 20 below below zero and again approaching 30 below in northern Minnesota. So brutal cold temps are still sticking with much in northern Minnesota. Here in the Twin Ports, you know, it's been just as cold, uh, mm -hmm. but there is some relief, I think, for most of us by early mid next week uh, with at least above zero temperatures. Not those, you know, those lows are still cold, but they are. I mean, I'll take a, an above zero temperature, I think. <laughs> Me too. I am perfectly OK with above zero because at least that's somewhat average for this time of year. Yeah. I mean, these uh, 24 below. That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Especially yeah. for those who are up way north who are average low 34 is, Yeah, and below. average low is too above. So, yeah. I mean, seeing 30 to 40 below is just crazy. That's awful. All right. Well, thank you, Caitlin. We're yeah. hoping for, for better. <laughs> and